So, it's Super Bowl weekend, and with that in mind, I'm going to make this quick. How do we know he's even related to you? Look at that! Easily holding on to the number one spot this weekend was Kung Fu Panda 3, bringing an estimated $21 million and beating three new releases, two of which had particularly disappointing debuts. This brings the worldwide total for Poe and the gang to $198 million. Not as great as the last two entries in the series, but definitely the best performing new releases of 2016. Daddy needs to express some rage. That being said, the Kung Fu Panda may not hold that title for very long with Deadpool right around the corner. At number two. A truth we could see if we had, but... If we had... The only new film to crack the top three this week was Hail Caesar, bringing in an estimated $11 million. Most people don't do any research before going to the movies, but that's what some critics say you need to enjoy this film, or several years in the movie business. It's like the Coen brothers trapped us all in their own little private joke that only people in the Hollywood industry are really gonna get. That may be why Hail Caesar carries a 79% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes from critics and a less than stellar 48% from average moviegoers like you and me. Either way, this star-studded period piece only cost $22 million to produce and as of Sunday, it's earned half of that back already. On to number three. He's afraid. Knows how far I came to find them. Managing to stay in the top three for a fifth consecutive week is The Revenant, bringing in an estimated seven million dollars. And that's that. I'm gonna go find me some beer, buffalo wings, and a big screen, and enjoy this holiday the right way. As for next week, this sequel looks really, really, ridiculously close to the original. Flash me that beautiful Magnum. Wait, Magnum now! <laughs> oh! For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrus.